Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Mugs and Makeup. Sorry I missed a week last week. It was... I usually record, like, the weekend before, but, like, that week before had just been a mess. So I took a quick break, you know, just a week. And then I got a bunch of stuff. I, a lot of the stuff I'd ordered came in the mail. So... This video is kind of a get ready with me, but it's also kind of a here, let's talk about these awesome new products I got. So that's kind of what we're doing today. So without further ado, I'm going to get my headband, take a sip of coffee, and we're going to get started talking about cool products. Alright, so before I actually start putting makeup on, I'm going to real quick chat about two skincare products that I got. Um, one is an exfoliating facial scrub, and one is a toner. Now, I do have dry skin, so know that the products that I'm using are going to be better for dry skinned individuals. So, um, I don't have like massively dry skin, like scaly patches all over my face, but... Um, when I wash my face, if I don't put like a moisturizer on it pretty quickly, it just dries down and like feels like someone has pulled my skin too tightly over my bones, which is no fun whatsoever. Um, my toner is the Mario Badescu Skin Care Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. The lighting is going to be a little iffy today. Um, usually for my lighting, I use my makeup mirror over on this side and then over right almost right in front of me I have a window usually the light that comes through that window is pretty indirect like the light is on that side but not like incredibly directly like blinding people so that's that I'm gonna show you this product again so you can actually see it this is the small one I got this off of the Amazon because none of my local stores carry it um, but this is the small one. The one I got on Amazon came with this little travel-y one and then a larger one. I'm using this one right now. And then my exfoliating skin scrub is from the Simple Brand Sensitive Skin Experts Smoothing Facial Scrub Gently Exfoliates. I do not have some necessarily have sensitive skin, but this is a very gentle exfoliator, which means that it's not going to strip a lot of the good oils and things off of my face, what little it has. Um, but this is really great. I honestly, the only complaint I have about this is that I, it doesn't really, the smells kind of iffy. Like it doesn't smell like much of anything, but it's kind of, I don't know, I'm a little picky. Um, but the first time I used this, I touched my face and it was so soft. I was also told by an S aesthetician. Can't. English words hard. <laughs> um, friend of mine that I can't, this is actually gentle enough to use every other day, which is awesome. And honestly, like in the two days that I've started using it, it's really kind of helped clear up. I was starting to break out a little bit, probably because um, my struggle bus week, I was kind of lazy, didn't change the sheets, didn't like wash my makeup brushes. So things were getting a little gross. But, yeah, these are my two skincare products. The Mario Badescu I also like. Um, I haven't seen, like, any kind of dramatic differences one way or the other, but it's not causing me, it's not giving me bad. Like, it's not causing bad things. It's not, like, causing me to break out or anything of that nature. So, overall, I'd say this is a good product. Um, it feels very moisturizing. I have put it on, like, I've kind of sprayed it on over makeup after, like, I've had makeup on all day. I'm tired. And then this came and I was like, I'm going to try it. So I sprayed it and like my skin looks a little more alive. So it is good for that as well. Um, I will not be using this in my makeup routine today. I use it in my skincare every morning and every night. So I've already used this today. All right. So primer's nothing abnormal. Um, I've been using my Porefessional more than I have my Cover FX primer. Um, clearly I'm in need of new primer soon, but.
So I don't know if you guys know, but I was running out of my color correctors and I needed something that would also help my like under eye a little bit better because what I was doing wasn't working too great. So I found this product. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Correcting Palette. It comes with the purple, the green, the yellow, and the highlighter. So I don't usually need much of the purple if any at all. I usually am primarily using the green and the yellow. I think I have, let's see, let me find a mirror. We have a little bit of a leftover spot over there. Did y'all hear that crack? This brush is loose now. Beautiful. That's okay. I have actually a lot of these brushes. So this one was cheap. I got it off of Groupon, so I'm not mad. It's been that kind of morning. Alright, let's see. Where else do I need some redness covered? Um, always around my nose. Allergies are a thing that happened to me a lot and majorly. So I like to put some of this green on my nose my cheeks. So as far as this product, it's not my favorite. It doesn't blend very well. I think it's my biggest complaint. It has, it's very difficult to blend in completely. So I end up, before I put my foundation over it, kind of taking my makeup sponge to it. Just it's a little bit of help. Let's see, is there anything else? Really red? No? Oh, there's a little right over here. Plucked my eyebrows this morning. So. But yeah, like you can kind of see where the green stuff really is. So I'm gonna take this is my new beauty sponge. I got it from Target. It's not as good as the Real Technique sponge, but it'll work for a little bit. They only had Real Technique sponges in like packs of two and three. I wasn't feeling that that day. Trying to be frugal that day, that shopping day, so. And then I take the yellow. And gently kind of pull it across most of the darkness under my eyes and also on my lips. We're done with that for the moment. I actually also use this highlighter here. Um, just putting a little bit of like a cream or a liquid highlight underneath your normal highlight, your like powder. I say normal because that's my normal, but that's not everyone's normal. My bad. But either way, I use the highlight shade, kind of dot it, and I'll show you how it works. But basically, it makes my highlight, my powder highlight, pop in. Also, I would talk about the fact that I got this mug from Goodwill. Isn't it precious? It's also massive. Anyway, so put that up. And for foundation, I'm actually still using the same one, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in shade Soft Ivory. I do it a little tiny bit differently now. Um, I don't think I've done a get ready with me with my foundation recently, so I'm not sure if you've seen me do it in pieces like this, but... because the next one was awful and I finally ran out. This one's fabulous. This is the Maybelline um, Master Conceal by Face Studio Camouflage and Concealer in the shade Fair. 
So, wait just a hot second guys. I need to put it on the back of my hand. The back of my hand is super dry and today is the first day I actually remembered to put some lotion in here so that I didn't have to just suffer. Oh gosh, I forgot how good that smells. This is the Bath & Body Works Pink Sugar Plum Body Lotion. This was like one of the Christmas ones from like seven years ago or something. It was a gift and I love it. So anyway, I'm gonna put that up. And then I just took a tiny little, tiny, tiny little bit on the back of my hand. It's so full coverage and it doesn't settle any of the lines and I can bake it without feeling like I'm going to, you know, like die from being too dry. It's kind of, it was, the other one was absolutely awful. This one's fantastic. It does such a good job of covering everything. I usually do have to add some more, something else at the end, which I'll show you. But my dark circles are absolutely awful. And honestly, a lot of what comes through is like puffiness. So this actually really helps. The thing that I'll go do next really helps with the puffiness. Alright, then we'll need this again in a little bit. So the other thing I like to add is my Garnier Skin Active Clearly Brighter Anti-Dark Circle Eye Roller. I don't think I've used this in a video yet. This is tinted. Um, the non-tinted ones work fine. Um, I've come to the conclusion that I do prefer the tinted ones. I used to not. But what you do is you just roll it under your eye until you've got what a product you need. I usually let it sit for a minute because it's nice and cold and it feels good and it helps. And then I just take my sponge. I look less like I got punched in both eyes or like I night as, as I, or like I night time as a panda. So now I'm gonna do some light baking with my Cody airspun powder. This is in the shade natural neutrally naturally neutral. It's a tongue twister. And I just kind of Tap some in the lid. Not a lot. I also take the puff out, but I don't throw it away. I haven't like thrown it away or anything. I think it's super cute, honestly. So I just take some of this. So like after I do this, my eyes, like under eyes do feel a tiny bit tight, but not like they did when I have done this with my old concealer. In the meantime, we're gonna do some brows, some brow work. All right. I usually like to start by taking my spoolie and just brushing them out. I did pluck them this morning, so they're pretty well brushed, but, but that's okay. And then, where's my brush? And I'm looking for this. This is my e.l.f. Eyebrow Duo Brush. And I'm using the Bang Beauty Chocolate Gel Eyeliner. It actually makes a pretty good brow product. It has helped, it helps my brows stay in place better than anything else that I've used. Ooh, did a rough job today. This is not a good day for holding things. I drop with the product and I go through it with a spoolie. Just kind of blend it out a bit. So I'm gonna leave my brow product out for the moment in case I need it. But for now, I'm gonna take my, this is a cream eyeshadow brush from Avon. I'm going to put a little bit more of my concealer on the back of my hand. I 
I'm gonna clean up my rooms because I did a raggedy job today. Much better. Actually, at this point, now that I've done this, I'm actually having a pretty good brow day. Who'd have thunk? I am going to sit and my brow gel in this mess. There it is. And just add a little bit of it. Actually, I'm going to do it up here. Just adding a little bit of brow gel. Make sure that it stays in place. Though with that product, the brow hairs don't move quite so much. The other products that I have are much more creamy, and that eyeliner is more of a gel. So it really stays in place pretty well. All right. So done with this for now. I might need it again later, but I don't think so. Um, let's go ahead and set everything. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the excess baking. There's anything left. And now I'm gonna go ahead and tap some more powder out and set. All the bits and pieces of hair spun powder are going over the camera. It looks like it's snowing in here. That's actually kind of fantastic. It'll probably calm down after I've finished setting everything. Setting is done. Now it is time. Should I yank that out because on the other time for contour. I'm going to use my trusty Too Faced Chocolate Sole, which I'm not looking forward to replacing when I run out, because I'll have to buy it full price. And no one likes to buy things full price. Alright, start with some nose contour. This is, that was my Luxie eyeshadow medium angle shading brush, and I'm going to take my Luxie precision foundation and do some contouring of the neck. Get that jawline in there. And last brush for this, I'm going to use my Aesthetica P12, big fluffy thing. And finish contouring. All right. Now that I've chiseled myself down ever so slightly, I'm gonna grab my Note Cosmetics Luminous Silk Compact Blusher in the shade Desert Rose, which looks like this, and my Luxie. Duo Fiber Powder Brush has become an amazing asset as far as doing my blush is concerned. That compact is compact and this mirror are really small. <laughs> Just saying. Alright, so this is my little highlighter trick. I've done this with um, my Vitalist Healthy Glow. Um, step three highlighter that's like a rose gold color, but I only put it under pink highlighter. My, like, my light pink highlighter because otherwise it looks kind of funky. Mix in with the other colors. At least I feel so. But this one's... Oh! Trying to drop in things again. Okay. Butterfingers morning. But, okay. So I take this guy. My Wet n Wild Correcting Palette and the white right here. I just kind of use one finger and kind of rub it. So I've got some. And then I kind of pat it along my cheekbones. Like it is a-okay if this is not visible. 
Like, I almost don't even want it to be visible. Like, you can kind of see it's a very subtle sort of a glow on it. But I want my highlight to blind people from 20 feet away, so. And then recently I've taken to kind of dabbing a tiny bit down the bridge of my nose, on the end of my nose, and since I've got a lot left, across my lips. It's okay, there's a lot on my lips. I'm going to be putting a lipstick on so you won't be able to see that. Anyway. So I'm done with this guy. So now I have my Milani Make It Dewy 16 Hour Setting Spray, whatever guy thing. This guy. And my Precision, or my Tapered Highlighter Brush from Luxie. And I just kind of spray it out of the way of everything else. And today, today is going to be a very purple look. Can't wait to show you my surprise at the end. Um, not the end, but like, you get what I'm saying. But I'm going to use my Lilac to Reality Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. I love this thing. Just get some on my brush, and then gently run it over where you put the white cream highlighter. And it's okay if your cream highlighter is not very good quality because it's kind of just serving as a base. It's like if you wanted to just get something really simple, easy, and cheap to put under a really fancy highlight, do it. Do the thing. Do my bridge of my nose, one of my nose. This highlight is super purple today. Holy crap. I've never put this on underneath the white. Holy crap, I look kind of like an alien. It's fabulous. Eh. Not entirely sure how I feel about this whole, this highlight. But I can't really stop it now. <laughs> it is already too far. Let's... This is big and fluffy. I'll try blending it out a little. That's a little better. It looks a little less striped, which was my biggest issue with the whole business. So, cross my lip. Yeah, that's purple. Holy cow! Yeah, I've never actually used. <laughs> I've used the white with my other Wet n Wild highlighter, the Precious Petals, which is like a kind of a champagne -y color. Almost. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's Precious Petals. It's like a lot more champagne-y looking. My other one's really pink, so I use the pink highlighter. The Blossom Glow is a lot pinker, so I'll use that. But this one's not very pink. It's a lot more golden champagne kind of a color. So I was using the white, and it worked really well. And I guess it worked really well with the purple, too, but I think really well might have been too well. But the show must go on. So we'll keep moving. So now I'm going to grab my CoverGirl Lid Lockup Primer. Get a little bit of that. I don't use much of this. I just do a tiny little bit and then I just rub it in gently with a finger. And I've come to the conclusion that things work better if I don't actually set it, so I don't set it either. Just a tip, I wouldn't set this kind of stuff, because otherwise you're kind of losing your base. Um, I don't need anything else up here right now. Okay, so now we come to our cool bit. Cooler than my coffee. I got two really awesome things. Um, one I got from Groupon and one I got from the company website for their brand. First thing I got was a set of face brushes. They are super awesome. They are from the brand Storybook Cosmetics and they were on Groupon. Now let me just tell you guys, this 
when I looked for this brush set just to see what kind of deal I was getting. On the Ulta website, this brush set costs $55. I got it on Groupon. I actually got it on extra sale on top of the Groupon sale. So like, Groupon had it for like $15 including shipping. I got it for $13, like $12, between like just under $13 including shipping. Came with this really pretty carrying case for them. Isn't it gorgeous? And here are my makeup brushes. Yes, these are Harry Potter wands. Yes, I'm stoked beyond not belief. Yes, I'm going to tell you what each one is. Um, my Elder Wand brush, which looks like a big fluffy blendy kind of brush. Got a little raggedy looking, which I'm not bothered by. Like, I paid $13. I'm not even mad. But my Elder Wand brush. This was Dumbledore's wand, in case you guys aren't up on the whole Harry Potter thing for some reason. Um, this is Ron Weasley's wand, and it's like an angled, sort of a, like a shading or a crease brush. Um, Voldemort's wand is like a, like a flat concealer brush kind of thing happening here. Though I could probably, this is thin enough that it could probably be used for eyeliner, honestly, if I really wanted to. Um, Hermione's wand is this like really flat blocky angled brush and Harry Potter's wand is the pencil brush which makes me really happy because I needed a pencil brush so bad you can tell I've already used it with a really bright color but that's not my only surprise this is what I teased on the Facebook page um well as of right now it's yesterday but um, it'll probably have been a few days by that point. Look at this monstrosity. I'm so thrilled. So I got this palette to replace this. I got this because I needed like that one color. But this palette's awful. I've wanted this for so long. This is a 35P. And yes, I left the little color name thing in there. Look at how many shades. Look at all these gorgeous purples and plums and like cool browns and stuff. Like These are colors I did not have. This is a palette that I did not have a lot of things with. Like there's mattes in here. Like matte purple is something I don't have. I have all the, had all those shimmers, all those shimmery purples. I have a couple of random other shimmery purples. I like in my Avon palette, um, the purple in the Laura Lee is shimmery. I think I've got a Lorac palette with something shimmery in it. I don't have any flat purple. And let me tell you, there's so many gorgeous flat purple shades in here. I cannot even imagine. I have never, I've never used this. This came in the mail yesterday. So this whole thing, like, this is all new for me. Every bit of it. Like, this look is Literally, I'm just kind of playing and pulling it out of nowhere. That's kind of why I wore this white shirt with Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service on it today because I wanted to have like a neutrally colored outfit so that I could run wild with this purple and all would be well. Like it would have been anyway, but you guys, I've been wanting this palette for like six months. This was the palette that I fell in love with after I bought the Naked Heat, because that happens to me. Every time I buy a palette and fall in love with it, like I fall in love with a palette and I finally buy it and I love it and I use it, but also deep in my soul, there's another, there's like another palette just waiting. So we're gonna start with crease color. What crease color am I gonna start with? I need something neutral, but kind of quiet. I'm gonna tell you the name because I'm weird like that. I love the fact that this came with the names. I've never seen anybody use them. I didn't know it came with them. So I didn't even know that the Morphe shades had names. Like I can't even tell you how excited that makes me. So we're gonna start with Lilac, which is the shade here. That's gonna be my crease color and I'm using Ron Weasley's brush. 
think the only thing about Morphe that makes me sad is that none of their palettes have mirrors. Like, this palette is huge. Do you know how awesome it would be if I had a mirror? <laughs> Instead, I'm using this. That's alright, though. So we're going to see how this goes. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at all that pigment. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. That's a gorgeous color. This is also just gorgeous. This whole... Ugh, I'm, I can't even... I can't even right now. Um, I'm going to take a slightly darker shade. I'm going to take Pinky, which is this guy here. And... Put that in the crease to give it a little bit of depth. Y'all, I just can't even. <laughs> I just can't even right now. I'm so excited. This is beautiful. There's just been a sad lack of purples and palettes that have been coming out. Like, I, the Norvina made me really happy, but it's really expensive. And I didn't really want to drop $55 on a palette because I liked the single purple shade in it. I've been looking for nice palettes with purples for probably months. I think the only other palettes that I was really interested in were a couple of the face candy palettes um, off of the Hush app, which I still haven't shopped from yet because I ended up swapping some things around and picking up the Morphe palette this month, among an assortment of other things. But, okay, got those matching. Let's see, what other color? I want something a little bit deeper. I'm going to take a little bit of jam which is, oh, this is fun to jam, which is like that purpley, that dark purple shade, not drape, which is next to that really, really, really neon um, purple. But like most of these are kind of, you got like neutrals all over on the, the left over here, got a lot of neutrals on the left, and it just gets more and more and more intense and dark. So the palette's arranged really well, but it's this. That one's a little bit struggling. Let's get a little bit of jam. Yeah, I'm just using this one brush right now. I haven't needed another one yet, so I'm just gonna keep moving. This is a great crease brush, actually. The quality on these brushes is actually wonderful. I'm gonna take this one though, the elder one brush, the really wonky fluffy one. Okay, before I get any further, I'm going to grab my Voldemort's wand brush. Oh, why did that? It's like, why is this getting all powdery? I clipped the corner of a shade with my brush, or with my mirror palette. I'm going to grab the shade Tool, which is a shimmery off-white, right here where my thumb is. Yes, I keep putting this back on just so I can show you guys. Yes, I'm weird. No, I'm not mad about it. Let's pull some of that and just pull it right across the whole palette. Ooh, that looks really, really nice. Let's use my um, Ipsy T35 Precise Blending Brush and the shade. I'm looking for another dark shade. What else should I try? I think I'm going to try the one that was sitting next to Jam or under it. Under it. There's one. There's a shade called Sangria, which I'm going to right here. And I'm going to put that in like the outer third or so. I'm gonna pat some of that in there. 
And then use this weird wonky fluffy brush to blend and soften. The fact that I could do a look that's all matte purple brings me such joy. Wow, that's really dark. That's gonna look better if I kind of put it in there a little bit. It's just a smidge. That's like, sangria is like a really wine colored purple, I think, maybe? Or like a, it's like a very deep plum. That's a little better. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same flat brush here, my Voldemort brush. You don't have to, no, okay. Do I want a matte or do I want a shimmer? This is so difficult, guys. You don't understand. <laughs> like, I don't, I'm struggling. I'm going to use the shade that really caught my eye from this palette called Gemstone, which is... This one right here, this would be light purple. Or the one underneath it, which is Violetta, which is a really bright purple. I haven't decided quite exactly. I am going to use my finger though. Holy crap. This is so intense. We're just going to put this. I'm going to use both. I'm going to put this on the inner inside portion. It's super bright. Like so, on both sides. And then I'm going to take the tool color and then inner corner highlight. Pretty subtle, but kind of nice. And then I'm going to take that fluffy, um, the Ron Weasley brush, the fluffy angled one, and take the darker shimmery purple and kind of use it to blend those two together. Use it in the middle section there. So I'm just gonna take my pencil brush and smudge um, pinky under my eyes, I believe. I might add some or something else after, but I'm gonna start with the pinky. Also gonna take a little tiny bit of sangria, smudge it all in the outer corner, kind of tie it all back together. Ooh, I'm starting to take out of this palette. See? All right, guys. I'm gonna go do my eyeliner and some mascara and my lipstick, and then. Uh, and then I'll just close everything out, and you'll see the finished look. I am back, guys. Um, for eyeliner, I use three different ones. For um, my tight lining, I use the Seate London Wonderland Gel Col Wonder Wand Gel Coal Eyeliner. It's like a little old. Looks a little rough. A Wet n Wild White. Um, I should line your pencil in my pretty vulgar, um, ink gel eyeliner. And then for mascara, I use my Wonder Beauty Unleashed Volume and Curl. And I'm going to real quick talk about this lipstick because this is another new thing that I got that I was really excited about. This is the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade Dreamer, which is what I'm wearing. Um, it does take a little bit of time to dry down. It stays a little sticky, but that makes it, for me at least, that makes it really comfortable. It means my lips don't dry out completely when while I'm wearing it. Um, I was actually really scared to buy this because the last matte lipstick I got from Maybelline I was allergic to. So tingly lips constantly for a non-plumping lips, lip, like lipstick. Not my favorite thing. But, yeah, so... 
This is also fabulous. It stays on forever. Um, I've eaten multiple whole meals and not really had it move much. Um, I think that if I wear it all day and then end up going out late, like in the evening somewhere, I need to reapply before I go just a tiny bit like on the inside of my lip just to tidy things up, but it sticks. It doesn't like go outside the lines. It doesn't like end up in weird places. Like you don't end up with lipstick all over your face when it starts to wear down. And like, I love this shade because this actually wears down really naturally. It wears down slowly. Like this stuff doesn't just disappear, but, um, it wears down very naturally and it doesn't look like, like my purple tart lipstick does not wear naturally. It looks ridiculous when it starts to wear down and starts to get on things. So, um, transfer on this is pretty mild. This is probably one of the best matte liquid lipsticks I've ever tried. Like this actually beats out the like $26 lipstick Girlactic one that I loved as well. So wearing this while I can falls right around the corner. So I'll be getting a couple more shades of this for the fall. But, yeah. Sorry, that was odd. But, yeah, this is me. This is my look today. This is my new Morphe palette and some new products I got throughout the month. Um, have a great day, guys. And if you enjoyed this, you know, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, if you subscribe, to hit the bell button so that you know every time I post a video, which is once a week, usually on Tuesdays. So, bye.